Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're going to be talking about the new limited edition offerings from Burberry for the holidays. So there is a new face palette and this is an, a signature eye and face palette. We have four eyeshadows, a highlighter, and a blush. And they also released three limited edition lipsticks. You can see the packaging matches on these. You've got the Burberry you know, a big Burberry logo on these. These three lipsticks are going to be with a pearl finish, which essentially just means that it's going to have some, a little sparkle in there. So the shades themselves are not new. They are classic shades from Burberry, um, but the finish is new and limited edition. You won't find this finish in their permanent line. And let's go ahead and get started with some swatches. All right, so we're going to start with the blush and the highlight. The blush is called Dusty Pink. It's matte blush. And the highlighter is Rose Gold Shimmer. And this palette itself, you can see we've got the mirror here. It does have a click closure. It's 17 and a half grams and is made in Italy. There is a one and a half year shelf life. So we have the Dusty Pink and the Rose Gold Shimmer. And then we have four eyeshadows here. And the four eyeshadows have different finishes. So we have Burberry Beige, which is a matte shade, followed by Golden Shimmer. This is gonna be a very bright yellow. And then this one here is Dark Carmine, which is satin, and Bridal Brown, which is satin. So this is the entire palette. All right, so let's take a look at the lipsticks. So these are 3.3 grams. They're made in Italy, and they also have a one and a half year shelf life. These, the same type of packaging they have on their other lipsticks. So it is magnetic, although you have the limited edition embossing on the top. This is what it looks like fully up. This one here is shade 97, Pearl Oxblood. I'm gonna put this one right here in the middle of my hand. You can see that it is a beautiful plum berry shade with some shimmer in there. And the shimmer, the actual sparkles, are more of that like fuchsia reddish pink shade. We also have 14 Delicate Rose. And this one, because it's lighter, the sparkle is not as evident. It just doesn't show up as much. You see it more catching the light, but you don't actually see so much of the sparkle per se. The shimmer particles in here are actually gonna be a light, soft pink, almost more like a rose gold shade. And then the last shade is the one I'm wearing now. This is gonna be 106 Pearl the Red. And here it is. So the shimmer particles in this, they look like they're a mix of red and gold shimmer in here. I think all three of the shades are really beautiful. They have a very smooth finish. They feel like the Burberry Kisses, essentially. But you can see, aside from the actual sparkle, the finish of these is just, there's almost a little bit of a pearlescent effect. Um, it's definitely not metallic it's not even what i would say a soft metallic or a subtle metallic but there's a tiny touch of that in there to kind of give it more of a pearly effect to it but the major thing you're going to notice is really just that there is a hint of sparkle the sparkle in these though is not over the top it's more subtle like you don't really notice sparkly lips on me right now um, but so it's not something like the Chantecai lip crystals or something like that, but there is a touch of sparkle. So these are the three shades. We've got Delicate Rose, Oxblood, and the Red. Now I have created two looks using this palette. The first one's a little bit more adventurous, but still subdued because it's kind of more of my normal style. And then um, we have the look that I'm wearing now. So let's go ahead, we'll cut to that, and then we're gonna come back and do a few swatches and talk about my thoughts. All right, so going into this shade with the Sonia G Blender Pro, and you can see the kick up here, put this in the crease, 
to say it wasn't expecting it to be quite as pigmented <laughs> but it is very pigmented and um i do have the vizier eye primer on so just gonna dust off the brush a little bit and diffuse the part on the brow bone i'm gonna take the worker pro into this red shade which i am very nervous about <laughs> so we're gonna see you can see it looks really red here so just gonna add that to the outer corner here all right so there's that i have to say it is a, a nice red um formula wise you can see the hints of the sheen and so forth and then we're gonna go into this one oh i forgot they actually do have names down here as well so this was dark carmine and this is bridal brown so we're gonna go into bridal brown and this is really deep just gonna add a touch of this right over the red just leave a little bit of the red there all right and then we're gonna try something a little different i'm just gonna take the bridal brown on its own just to dab a little bit of this on the inner corner actually I really like this brown shade. This is a really pretty brown. So then from there, let's go into the gold, which is called Golden Shimmer. By the way, the first shade is Burberry Beige. So same brush. This is, you can see it's really like a yellow toned gold. Wow, that's bright. You can see where it touches the red that it did turn a bit orangey and now because i want kind of like a softer blend i'm taking the surat so this is a medium smoky eye brush and you just put it on its side here and it really helps kind of blend the colors So mine's more muted this way, and that's kind of the way I prefer it, but I could see somebody making a gorgeous, vibrant, kind of like a sunrise, sunset type thing with this, um, this yellow and red and the way they blend together, you know, that would be really stunning. Just taking the Blender Pro that I used in the beginning and just blending that softly here. And then I'm gonna take a touch of the highlighter with this brush, just dabbing that off on my cloth. I'm gonna put this right on the brow bone here. Lower lash line going into Burberry Beige and this is the Chikahoto T8. So you can see it's a pencil brush, um, but it's pretty soft. So you're gonna get something kind of blurred out. It's not very stiff. I'm gonna take the highlighter here, just get a little bit on here tap off any excess and put that in the inner corner. I don't want it as vibrant as the yellow. So that's why I'm using the highlighter. And then to finish the eyes, I'm going to use some brown eyeliner and curl my lashes. We'll do that in a minute. But before we do that, let's move on to the blush and the highlight. All right. So next I'm taking the Sonia G. This is the new Yagasuki brush, and I'm gonna go into the blush, which is called Dusty Pink. And get some here on the brush. It's a good color for me. I like this shade. So here is the blush. I'm just gonna take this brush and just kind of buff that in a little bit. I had to disperse the product a little bit more. All right, let me show you the blush from a distance before I add the highlighter. So here is the blush. For the highlight, I'm taking the Ruffer 20 brush. 
and I'm just gonna get some of this on the fan. You can see it there, and let's just put this on. There, you can see it's a soft highlight. See that glow? And then for lips, let's move into the delicate rose in the pearl finish. So you can see that this comes with a limited edition holiday packaging, just like the palette. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so this is the final look from a distance. I have on the Coco Liner from Victoria Beckham, the Cure Weiss Mascara. We've got the blush and the highlight from the face palette. You can see I have kind of a light application of those on. In a second, I'm gonna amp that up a little bit just so you can see that. And then we have the Delicate Rose Pearl Finish Lipstick. So let me amp up the cheeks and see you in a second. So I'm gonna go in with the same Sonia G brush and just put on a little bit more product this time. You can see up close, it's definitely more visible than it is from a distance. I have to say this brush picks up the product um, better than I was expecting. This is the first time I've used a semi coho, uh, please excuse pronunciation, um, hair. So it's very, very soft. So there's that. Let's amp up the highlight. And this time I'm going to use the Detail Pro brush from Sonia G. And let's just put this on here. Wow, you can see that definitely has like this golden hue to it. When you amp that up, it's definitely a lot more present and a lot more color and depth. So here is a stronger application of the blush and highlight. You can see the highlight here is, you know, this um, intense put on this strongly. It's a little bit too dark for me. Um, the blush, however, works really nicely. You can see that the highlighter actually looks a lot more gold now than it did before, or I would say even than it does in the pan. In the pan, it definitely has little bit more of this like taupey brown um, champagne kind of vibe going on. Not quite so much gold, but I definitely see more of a golden hue on my cheeks now. All right, so I'm starting off with Sony G Soft Shader, and I'm actually going to go into the darkest shade here, which is called Bridal Brown. And just going to get a little bit on there, tap some off. And we're actually just going to do uh, a duo of the two brown taupey shades today. So just gently patting that in or on. All right, so I've got that on half the lid. Next, we're going to go into Burberry Beige, which is a matte. By the way, the um, bridal brown is a satin. So I'm going to get some of that on. Just tapped it off on my cloth. And we're going to go ahead and put this on to about the halfway point. And then I'm going to wipe the brush off and feather those two together a little bit. All right, so there's the eyeshadow. Taking the Sonia G Crease Pro, nothing on it. I'm choosing this one because it's smaller, more tightly bundled crease brush. And I don't want the color to go all over, but I do want to kind of get this a little bit softer in the crease here. And I'm taking the residue on the brush up a little bit higher. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the highlight shade and just get a little bit of that on the crease brush and just blending that onto the brow bone here. And for the lower lash line, I'm just going to mirror the 
upper color. So starting with the Burberry beige, and then we'll put the bridal brown next to it. And this is the new Sonia G. Um, I'm trying to think on top of my head, the, the Yagasuki, Yagasuki set. And this is swirl hair. Wiped off the brush and now I'm just softly blending those. All right, so I will finish that with brown eyeliner and mascara. Let's move on to the cheeks. Today we're going to take the classic cheek from Sonia G. This is undyed goat hair, so it's a little bit firmer. And it has plenty of pickup and just going to kind of stamp that on here. So I'm wiping the brush off just a little bit and then just kind of softly blending that a little bit more on the cheek. All right, so a nice soft, you know, it's called Dusty Rose, but uh, yeah, Dusty Pink actually. To me, it's a little bit more of a peachy pink. I feel like there's a little bit of warmth in there. And let's go ahead and add the highlight. I'm going to go light on the highlight today. I'm going to take the mini cheek from Sonia G. Just going to get a little bit of powder on the brush and just very softly put that on. So I'm going to finish this makeup and then we will do lips. All right, so now we're going to try and pearl the red. So this is the final look then from a distance. All right, so we're gonna start off with some swatches. We're gonna start off with the Burberry Essentials Glow palettes that came out, uh, I guess it's just over a year ago. So this one here is number two, the medium dark palette. And you can see here that none of the shades quite are uh, the same, but let's take a look. We do have a highlight here. This is rose gold. I wonder if how similar this is because looking at them in the pan, the colors look pretty similar, but not quite the same. And the finish actually looks a little bit more satiny in the essentials glow. So let's put that right here because they are both rose gold. And let's just swatch this one right next to it again, just in case. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was just my eyes or not, but I do feel like the one, the Essentials Glow palette is more, it, it's more metallic, it's more shimmery. And it's also, it's just a little bit more vibrant. So I feel like the shades, while similar are not 100% exactly the same, I think the finish is a little different on the two of them. Let's just see here. So doesn't say anything. It just says rose gold shimmer versus rose gold in the essentials glow. So perhaps they are intended to be slightly different, but they're still, you know, fairly close. I do feel like the one in the new palette is a little bit peachier. Now these two blushes, I'll swatch them, but they are not the same. We have coral and fuchsia here. So I'll put those, we'll put those right up here. And then this is the other palette, the 01 Fair to Light Medium. And we'll just go ahead and swatch this one. This is the Pink Pearl. And well, we'll just put it over here. You can see it's going to be it's actually more vibrant, just like the other one, the other Essentials Glow palette, but it's more of a soft petal pink comparatively to the Rose Gold. Now, these two blushes are also going to be different. We have light pink and pink. So I do think, you know, by the way, all of these blushes in the Essentials Glow palette they're more of a satin finish, whereas the one in the new palette is a matte finish. So we do have a different finish, and I feel like this dusty pink shade is really more of a peachy pink. Moving on to eyeshadows. 
This is the eyeshadow palette that was briefly available last year. This is the, um, the runway eye palette. And you can see here that some of the shades do have kind of a similar look to them, although not quite the same. The first one that stands out to me is this one down here in the bottom, which is just beige matte, whereas this one is Burberry beige. So let's see how those two compare to each other. And let's see here, put it right there. All right, so just beige is slightly lighter and just a little bit cooler in tone than Burberry beige in the new palette. In the runway palette, we don't have anything like this bright yellow, the golden shimmer. You can see how much brighter, how much more yellow that is. And the reds don't quite match either, but we are gonna check this one here, Vermilion Red, which is a metallic finish because this one is the closest and it has a very creamy texture to it. All right, and then the next one we're looking at here is this one, which is Dark Brown Shimmer. And I do have that swatched right here. Just go over that again. You can see that it's a little bit more shimmery, a little bit more satin than the Bridal Brown. They are a very similar color, but there's a little bit more red in the dark brown compared to the Bridal Brown, which is slightly cooler and richer, like a little bit more cocoa. Moving on to a few comparisons, this is the Chanel Claire Obscure. We're going to look at just these two um, browns here compared to, well, let's go ahead and swatch the whole Claire Obscure palette. And I actually went clockwise starting here. So here's Claire Obscure. And let me swatch the two browns from the Burberry palette here. And then so I'll put this up in there. All right, so you can see that the taupey shade, it's actually kind of a cross between these two lighter shades here and the Chanel Claude. Um, they're pretty similar. The bridal brown is more similar to this one, but it's a lot lighter in the Chanel palette. The tones are similar though. And then this is one of the Burberry singles and um, this is Pale Barley, number 102. And let me just go ahead and compare that one up here. Well, we'll put that here next to, you can see that it is gonna be a lot more taupe than the beige in the Burberry beige in the new palette. It has a touch more gray. And then I have to say this orangey red shade here and the gold, they are not in my comfort zone, but they did kind of remind me of some Suku palettes. This is actually more orange than red, but I just wanted to show you, this is the 104 palette. It was limited edition. And I wanted to show you how this one kind of compared. So it's a little bit more orange than the Burberry, but I don't know, I feel like they are still fairly similar. And then this is the red from the 05 palette. This is part of the permanent line. This is actually a matte red here. You can see that that one's gonna have a lot more of that like berry red color in it. But the orange in the Suku palette really makes me kind of think of that one. And then this is the Suku holiday palette from a couple of years ago. So I just wanted to go over this red one here. So this one is a satin shade. You can see it's not quite as orangey still, but again, to me, they do seem to have a similar vibe. And then this is a Tom Ford Body Heat Quad, which I just recently purchased. I haven't used it at all yet. We're gonna go ahead and swatch this because the color story minus the yellow really kind of makes me think of this quad and just how the colors kind of go together. So, yeah, it's not as bright, but you've got kind of a similar color story aside from that. I do feel like it's just, I don't know, it just reminds me, once you get it on the eyes, it reminds me kind of what you can get from that. This is Honeymoon. We're just gonna do these two here. These aren't gonna match or anything, but again, 
it's more about the vibe in this case and how the colors blend. All right, so moving on to lip comparisons. This is one of the Burberry Kisses, their satin formula lipsticks. This one here is in number 14, Delicate Rose. So I'm just gonna show you how they compare. So this is Delicate Rose compared to the Delicate Rose in the Pearl formula. And I have to say, you know, the colors are slightly different in my opinion. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that, yeah, I was just double checking, they are both number 14. Um, but you can see that the Delicate Rose and the Kisses formula has a little bit more rose in it compared to the peachier nature of the pearl version. And you can see that the finish on them is similar. There's like that sheen, that natural sheen, but there's definitely no sparkle in the Kisses formula. It also feels, I think the pearl formula feels a little bit thinner, like a little bit more sheer on the lips than the Kisses. Now, a few other shades that these reminded me of, this is the Givenchy La Rouge Sheer Velvet in 36. I just wanted to compare the color, the formula and the finishes are very different, but just so you could see the shade. The red from Burberry is a little bit cooler than Lantardi. And then the Chanel number no. five, 176 Independent. That one is going right here. I feel like those colors are fairly, fairly close. The Chanel has, it's a little bit cooler. There's a little bit more pink in it, but I think they are pretty close. However, finish wise, the lipsticks that reminded me the most of these Burberry Pearl lipsticks are actually the Chanel Holiday ones from 2020. So we have 127 Rouge d'Or. And just like the pearl finish ones, we do have a bit of shimmer in here. I'm gonna put this right at the top. You can see that the color is more more red, um, <laughs> more cooler in tone. There's more pink in it. It's not quite as neutral of a red as the red from Burberry, but the actual appearance of the and the quantity of shimmer in there, I feel like is pretty comparable. So this is kind of like a cooler version. Then we also have 107 or beige from that collection. And we're gonna put that right here. So I put that right there. You can see it's a little bit more sheer. It's also got a little bit more beige in there, a little bit more of that nude brown. But I do feel like, you know, it's it's similar. It's not, it's not peachy. I, I feel like that's the biggest difference is the Burberry one is peachy. And then we also have 137 Porpador, which is, my closest to oxblood you can see this one here's the chanel it's a little bit deeper a little bit more purpley but the tones are very very similar it's just a little bit i think the burberry is a little bit more sheer a little bit lighter on the first layer but you can kind of build them up to be similar the chanel is again slightly cooler the burberry is actually more neutral this has just a touch more berry in it than the burberry so chanel burberry now onto my thoughts about this collection. We're gonna start with the lipsticks. And I have to say, I do like the lipsticks. I think they are a nice, comfortable formula. There's a little bit of shimmer, but not too much, which is the way I personally like it, more for like everyday wear. I really like the three colors that they used. I have to say Delicate Rose is a little bit peachier than I would like. I really like the Delicate Rose that I have in the Kisses. So I was expecting it to be like a little bit more pretty much the exact same color just with shimmer um but the new one is definitely peachier so I like I, I like all three colors though I can't complain about the colors or the formula it's very comfortable they're not like especially long wearing or anything they are essentially an average satin lipstick and yeah overall I like the lipsticks I would purchase all three of these again now moving on to the face and eye, or eye and face palette. I like this palette. I have to say, I really like the blush in here. I think it looks really natural, fits very well with my coloring. The rose gold highlighter, I'm actually glad that it's not quite as vibrant as the one in the Essentials Glow palette, because for me, the way that one hits the light, it just always looks a bit too dark on me. Whereas the one from this palette, I feel like if I put it on lightly, 
it doesn't look too dark. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think the shade's a little bit easier for me to wear. So I like it. I like the formulas of both. I think it's very subtle, which is good because I feel like the eyeshadows are a little bit more vibrant than I expected them to be. So as for the yellow and red, they are not colors that I reach for all the time. That being said, I do really like the way they ended up looking on my eyes when I blended them together. Straight up, they're not really for me, but I like the fact that this palette can actually be used to make something a little bit more wild and out there. Like, I think if you use the yellow, the red, and you know, I think depending how you put them on, you could get this like gorgeous sunset look. And I think that would be really beautiful. It's not something I would wear every day, but I think it is something that, you know, it's nice to have the ability to do that if you wanted to. Plus, I think these colors are easily toned down with the two browns that they put in there. They're very complimentary. The formulas for all of these are good. For me, I did wear these with the Vizier Eye Primer and using the primer, I had all day wear with no fading or fallout. And that was over 10 hours. So, I have to say, performance-wise, everything in the palette has held up beautifully. The blush and the highlight also held up for, you know, the whole day for me. I do feel like maybe, it, you know, the highlight wasn't quite as noticeable at the end of the day, but I could definitely both still see the blush and the highlight and all the eyeshadows still looked good. I think the eyeshadows are really easy to blend out. So do I recommend this palette? I think it's a nice palette. If the colors speak to you, then I think it is definitely one to look into purchasing. It's limited edition, so it won't be around long. However, is it a must have? I don't think it is, mostly because I do think that these colors are gonna be a little bit harder for the average person to wear every day. So I think it's a nice palette. I think the quality is there on the palette, but the color story is not my favorite, which makes it more of a nice to have and not a must have. So that's kind of my thoughts on this. I do really like the packaging. You know, this has more of like a matte feeling where you have the embossing, because you, you can see it's like a matte paint essentially on there. So that being said about the eyeshadows, I have to say that the two browns that they chose in here, I think are fantastic neutrals. And I really like them. Uh, I, I like the way they go on and I really like the way they play with the other colors. And if you missed out, you know, it is a different formula than the Runway Eye Palette that came out last year, but I love the formula in the Runway. I also love this formula. And this one reminds me more of the ones in the Classic Iconic Singles. So, you know, if those were some that you really liked, you know, if, I wouldn't recommend getting palette just for those two shades, but I think they're definitely a draw, the Bridal Brown and the Burberry Beige. I think they are fantastic. This Burberry Beige would be like a great one and done shade for people. I like blending it with the deeper Bridal Brown. I think the Bridal Brown is gorgeous. I love the tones in there. So overall, I have to say it is a really nice palette. Again, it's a nice to have. So the entire collection is available on Burberry.com. I will have all of the links down below in the description box, as well as on my shop list page. And these items are exclusive to Burberry.com and they are all limited edition. So thank you so much for joining me. I would love to know what you think of these particular items and you know if you've picked them up already or if it's something you're considering. So thank you so much and I will see you very soon. Happy holidays.